Hey guys, we're here with Kat. So we're gonna talk a little bit about what we're gonna do to Kat's hair. So we're in the process, she wants to grow out her gray and not really worry too much about the color that she's gonna have. Okay, so let's chat about this a little bit. So you talked about your blonde and how you don't really love the warmth in it, correct? Yeah. Okay, so what is your goal with your hair? To be able to just let it kind of the grains grow in and it blends to the bottom. Okay, yeah. sounds good, perfect. And so like, are you wanting to see the blonde look more of like this ashy gray color? Yeah. So overall, with all the blonde that you have in your hair, it's gonna almost look like this is kind of like a gray color coming through. Is that kind of what you're thinking? Yeah. Okay. So, and so really it's nice. We have all this blonde that we actually get to work with, which is beautiful. So we're gonna have to go through and lift this out um, to get it a little bit lighter because we can see a lot of the warmth pigment throughout. Um, and now are you okay with seeing some of this warmth in there or are you wanting to get rid of it completely? I'm okay if some of it's still in there. Okay, because yeah. that's really, if we're, it's, that would depend on how big the job is. So if we were going to have to get rid of all the gold and all the warmth all together, we'd pretty much have to do a back-to-back -back foil and pick out every single piece and lift it out. But what we'll do if you're okay with having some of that in there is that we'll bring this up, we'll do a shadowed root so that we're going to blend out all these this gray that we see on the sides here um, and we're going to soften this line as well from here to here and then what we'll do is we'll lift out some of this blonde and retone it so that we have it a lot ashier that it matches your gray sound good and then also she needs a cut when's the last time you cut your hair like november November, yep. so it's definitely due for a cut. You can see these guys are just screaming and they want to just jump off your head. Yep. And so we'll do that and then we'll be all set. Okay, so with Cass here, she pretty much just has the concentration of gray like right around the front on the sides here. So take a look at that. So rather than um, taking her whole head to blend into the gray, because what that would do is it make it look like her whole head's gray rather than just in here. So in here, we're gonna make this a lighter blonde, but we're still gonna have it a nice natural shade. But where we're gonna really concentrate in blending oh. out the gray is right around the front. So what we wanna do is we wanna actually mimic the gray pattern that she has in the hair and we make the tone as much as possible so that when her color is finished it's gonna look like she has a really nice full head of blonde with a shadowed root but she'll have almost it'll look like her gray patches are coming through on the sides which will look really cool and then she won't have to worry about that growing in where we have the line from here to here so we're just really gonna blend that all in. I'm going to do a rough cut on Kat's hair first to get off a lot of the dead stuff and the extra length. There's no need for us to do more color work and waste product when we don't need to because we're taking off a good amount. So we're just gonna do that quickly now. Here is Kat's hair all sectioned out. We just have it in four quadrants, so right down the center, two sections on the front and two sections on the back. We are going to get started in the front quadrants first because that is where the concentration of gray is in Kat's hair. So we're gonna need to lift that out a little bit lighter than the rest of the blonde. We're gonna specifically work within the patches of gray first and separate those out to foil separately than the rest of the section. When you're trying to mimic a gray pattern in somebody's hair, this is a very visual process and it's gonna vary person through person. And it's also gonna vary on different areas of the head. So what we're trying to do is mimic exactly how Kat's hair grows out from the head. So we're gonna be looking for the gray hairs, picking out the hairs that are not gray, and we're gonna be foiling accordingly. We can see that Kat already has some lighter ends, but what we wanna do is lift it out to take out all the remaining pigment so that these pieces can match her gray exactly. In the areas that don't have a large concentration of gray but still have a very dark root, we are gonna be putting in a lot of blonde because we want to blend the gray into the rest of the style. So we're going to be doing a fine weave. The fine weave is gonna allow us to give a nice transition for the shadow root from dark to light. And then also it's gonna add enough blonde in there so that overall the front of Kat's hair, you're not gonna see noticeable gray patches. It's 
is just gonna look light around the face. Because we want Kat's ends to be lighter and she doesn't want to have as much warmth in there, we are gonna be lifting out the ends as well. Make sure that you're adjusting this accordingly to your client because you may want to leave the ends out altogether if their hair is already light enough or switch to a lower developer lightener so that you're not over processing the ends. We are going to continue to work up this section, again, foiling the hair that has a gray root and a dark root differently. I'm also making sure foil through foil that we are staggering the amount of dark that we're leaving at the root. This is going to allow you to have a very diffuse color from dark to light where you don't have a harsh line anywhere where the dark meets the blonde. You want to be very conscious of how you're folding your foil because you don't want any lightener on the end of your foil to get onto any of the hair at the root that you didn't color. So I like to fold my foil into three sections. First, I'm gonna fold the bottom third of the foil over top onto the middle. That's gonna keep the lightener inside. Then I'm gonna fold that section over the top third of the foil where it's the root meeting the lightener. That way the foil is very clean on the bottom section here and we're not going to get lightener where it's not supposed to be. Here is a close-up of what this weave is going to look like. You can see from the root to where the blonde starts we have the lightener feathered on very softly. That's going to give a very diffused line from dark to light. Go to check out our products at naven.com. We have amazing products, premium natural hair care that is going to make your hair style the best every single day and make it soft and shiny and healthy. Okay, if you guys wanna win free products, go to naven.com backslash giveaway. We do a monthly product giveaway and so you can get free products shipped right to your door. Also check out our sister channel at dollareyelashclub.com. We got vegan hand-tied lashes for as low as a dollar a pair that get shipped to your door. We're gonna work our way through the back sections now because Kat doesn't have any large concentrations of gray back there. We're just gonna be doing the regular fine weave foiling effect. We are going to be doing a fine weave and staggering the amount of dark that we have in the hair to again create a very seamless transition from dark to light. Okay, so now that we have her foils all put in, take a look at them. Okay, so what we're gonna do is, again, the goal is to get rid of the warmth in there. So it's not just the blonde that we're seeing that's warm. We actually have these brown pieces throughout here that are really adding a lot of warmth and brassiness to the color because we can see how this looks. It almost has like an orangey coppery tinge to it. So the blonde itself is actually not the worst ever. Like once we tone that, it's gonna look quite light. But what we need to do is go through and lift out some of these pieces. Otherwise, it's still gonna keep that warm, caramely, brassy kind of color that she's not loving. So now we're gonna go through and with the hair that's left out, pick out some of the pieces. We don't need to get all of it, but what we wanna do is get out enough of it so that this color kind of blends in with what's there and that we don't see too much of the orangey. We just have this picked out, so you can see there that it's mostly light with a little bit of the dark in there, but we're gonna pick this piece out and we're gonna foil that. Here we have that portion with the lightener on it and we have it foiled just to keep it out of the way and not touching any of the rest of the hair. Now we have all the lightener applied and this is what her foils look like. This is the lightener on the hair now. You can see where it had that really brassy orange color that it's lifted out quite nicely. Here's another foil. It's lifted out really nicely as well, so we're ready to rinse. We are now ready to wash out, so let's take out all the foils at the sink. Here's what it looks like before we wash out all the lightener. So here I have all the toner applied to her hair. I have the two areas here in the front that are sectioned out. I had a purple shampoo on it, as you can see here, just to kind of take out some of the yellowy. But what we want to do is we want to tone this uh, as ashy as possible so that we can get it as close as possible to the gray silver tone. Now you can see how the blonde back here is looking really nice. It's going to tone out to a nice platinum kind of bright blonde. And then we have in here, we have it 
very ashy. You can see how silvery it looks. It's gonna match really, really well to the gray. On the side pieces that we want to mimic the gray color, we have toned it with a half 10 violet and a half nine ash. And then here on the ends, we have a nine P, which is a pearl. This is Kat's hair while it's straight and down. We haven't styled it yet, but you can see how nice the blend is from dark to light. You can see that her gray is really blended in and that the blonde shadow root really camouflages it well. Here's Kat's hair all done. How do you like it, Kat? I love it. <laughs> and so you can see here in the front where she has these gray patches, we can see this lighter, lighter blonde that really blends it out. We can see that the gray there, I've left this all natural, so this is actually her natural gray, but when you have her hair all styled out, you can see these lighter pieces peeking through the front, which actually just really blends out the gray that she has, and you can see on this side as well, like so. There you go. There you guys have it. We're now at the end of the day, so both my cell phones have died, so I'm on cats and we're just doing selfie style. But if you guys have any questions about this tutorial, leave a comment below. I'll make sure to get an answer for you. Hit subscribe. We put out new videos every single week and our goal is to teach you something about mastering your craft, mastering your business, or even something that just will help you with your life. So remember here at Naven, we believe you can go out and change the world through hair and beauty. So definitely go out and do that. Be a beauty activist, like we say, and go check out our products. So at naven.com. Um, if you guys want to win free products, we do a giveaway at naven.com backslash giveaway and we give away products every single month. Anyways, say bye. Bye. bye.